Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We are taking a look at tethered shooting over the course of a few weeks here. And in our last video, we were able to set up different places that we would be able to drop our tethered shots, pose one, two, and three. And what this means for us is if I am uh, setting my pose one as my tethered location, when I come to my camera tool and I shoot a picture, and I'm gonna bring up this, the question is where did that go when it was shot? Because when you do tethered shooting, it automatically saves in the computer. And you will see if I come to my pose one folder, it places it here. If I were then to come in and say, you know what, I want the next sequence to be in pose two, set that as a capture folder. When I shoot this next image, it's going to drop it into pose two. Now that's really useful. However, one thing that's important for us to note is that we oftentimes are going to do shots uh, when we're doing tethered shooting that require multiple poses. And so wouldn't it be nice if this automatically populated and that is called a template. Now, one thing that's important about templates is that if we were to create a template right now off of this particular workflow that we have done, it would not automatically save these folders as part of the template. We need them to be favorites first. Otherwise, it will not necessarily save them. So I'm gonna come over to my library tool tab and come to session favorites. And I'm gonna come in here. One was already saved because if you leave one uh, capture folder, it asks you if you want to save that as a session favorite. The answer is usually yes. But if I want to add these other folders, I'm going to hit plus, And now I can simply find these other folders. I know exactly where they are. Test is the name of the session. Capture is, of course, our captures main folder. I'm going to come and add pose two. And now I'm going to come here, do the exact same thing, and add pose three. And this is going to create pose one, two, and three as session favorites. At this point, I can come up to file and save as template. Now when I do this, I'm gonna call this three pose session. In testing, I already created a session called that, which you can see here. It's gonna ask me to override this. So I'm going to hit save. It's gonna say, for me, hey, you already have this. Are you sure you wanna override it? I'm going to say yes and replace. If you have not saved a template that looks exactly the same or named the same, you will not be asked that. And now here's the benefit. I'm going to, at some later date, create a new session. We're just gonna call this two for our purposes. Under template here, I'm gonna choose three pose session. This should be exactly what we just created. When I do, we will see that I have session favorites of pose one, two, and three already built in. Not only that, but if I open up the actual session folder, which we'll see is right here called two, then underneath capture, pose one, two, and three are folders already created. And that is going to allow me to immediately create sessions that all work exactly the same way. All right, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.